CTV.ca. Tickets for cell phone use, talking or texting, were handed out over 9,000 times last year by the SQ, a big jump from about 7,000 in 2010. It's working on bringing that number down, especially with teen drivers. Texting while driving it can be really dangerous, and we see that it's a problem, of course, with the younger people. Those who drive and use cell phones are 38% more likely to have an accident. No, I talk while, if, I, if I have the Bluetooth on, and I never text unless my, I'm, I'm parked. Not only young people are guilty of texting behind the wheel. I talk more than I text, but sometimes it happens. But I look. There's paradoxically good news about 16 to 19-year-old drivers. A 40% drop in road fatalities, 18 fewer deaths, year over year, but it's still too early for the SQ to call it a victory. It credits the EPIC campaign, education, prevention, intervention, and communication. In part, it stresses the dangers of texting while driving. Um, but never while driving, obviously, that's kind of impossible. But, uh, yeah, generally during stops and red lights. That's still a no-no for the SQ. How about what her fellow Dawson student suggests? It would be better to answer your phone if you're out of light. That'd be a better case. That'll cost you, too. For a first offense, it can cost you up to $100 plus tax, administration fees, and three demerit points. Not only does the SQ hit you in the wallet, but the insurance industry raises your premiums if you're nabbed using your mobile device while behind the wheel. This insurance broker says this not only applies to talking or texting, but any kind of driving conviction. Even if you're already insured with someone, at some point in time, a general review will be done of the file, and they do check with the SAAQ to find out what sort of convictions you have on your file. I'm driving without my cell phone. <laughs> it's good for me. Lesson well learned by that teen student. Mark Shalhoub, CTV News. Now at CTV.ca.